State. Okay, folks, Larry Pesavento, thanks for joining me today. We're going to get a little recap of what's happening with the markets today. And believe me, it changes about every 15 minutes. We started the day sharply higher last night, and then the market broke about 500 Dow points, and then it rallied back to almost break even and down another 250. And right now, I think we're setting down about 100. The s and is still a little bit lower. And so, you know, these markets are very, very fragile. They're... Uh, they're almost schizophrenic if you if you want to know the uh, the way I look at it. The bond market's still under a great deal of pressure. That's going to last for a long time. Uh, natural gas is acting pretty good, and of course, crude oil is up near eighty nine dollars a barrel today, given the fact that the Saudis have cut back their production and just basically um, blew wind in the face of our uh, administration. Folks, I mean, that was a big surprise to them and a big surprise to me, but I don't look at the news much. Anyway, we've got gold trading at 1719, silver trading around 2050, and uh, the markets are extremely nervous. It's almost like when you were watching The Godfather, when uh, what I can't remember which one, uh, oh, I don't remember which one of the wise guys said, it's time to go to the mattresses. And I'm beginning to think it's something like that is happening. So uh, just be really careful here, folks, because these markets are jittery and uh, you've got as many bulls as bears. And so you've got to be very, very careful. As far as the grain markets, we've had a big sell-off in corn and wheat and soybeans uh, in the midst of other things that are happening. Maybe it's in relation to deflationary aspects or not. I don't know. We've been short the wheat. We, we covered the wheat uh, uh, today, and we're looking to go long. I'm going to wait a day on that just to make sure that the bottom is in. But uh, those are just a few of the things that we're paying very close attention to. This is the time, folks, where you want to think about having extra canned goods and extra paper goods. I, I don't know why. I've just got a, a real eerie feeling. When I see markets this jumpy and the fact that we've had a big, big move on Monday into the market and it went right up to the 382 retracement in the S&P, the NASDAQ, the Dow went a tiny bit above it, but not much. And it's been a, basically a three-day rally into a 382, folks. Boy, if there was ever a red flag for pattern recognition, this would be the one you'd want to pay very, very close attention to. We'll be right back with my show. Stay tuned for Billy Ray Valentine, Capricorn. <laughs> 